my sage and pecan, because that's how I say it, mm -hmm. a sweet Both potato correct, casserole. Right? Yeah, not pecan according to my pecan. grandma. You better say pecan. All right. So there's a topping that's going to happen. Okay, we're going to start with the pecans. They're going to go in. They're chopped. We've got a little bit of butter um, that's nice and cold. This is all going to go back in the freezer while we're doing everything else. Gotcha. Just so you know, some brown sugar, some flour, mm -hmm. okay, and then some sage. Yum. Okay? Fresh sage. So then you're just gonna get in here. I say with your hands, but you know. Well, get in there with your hands if you want. So this is the crumble. Now, when it's all squished together, you're gonna squish, squish, squish until you feel like you can make like a ball out of it that's not gonna fall apart. And that's when it's ready for I your gotcha. freezer, and right? And that's when you put it in the freezer. Yeah, put it in the freezer just so it goes onto your casserole <laughs> nice and cold. So put that back there. So then we've got the sweet potatoes. To get the skin off, you just put them in the oven at like 400 degrees with some holes from your fork and then let them Roast cool. Them, right. Yeah, and when they, they cool, cool down. The jacket slides off. Yeah, right off, honey bunny. Okay, so right in here. I'm gonna put some heavy cream, cause it's the holidays. Let me mash it. Yeah, some brown sugar. Gonna put some butter in there, cause it's the holidays. <laughs> I need a t-shirt that says that. Okay, some pumpkin pie spice. Everybody's favorite. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some flour, so it tightens up. And then gonna add in a few eggs that are just whisked. Get that so in like there. So like a thick custard. It's like a custard, yeah, yeah. very souffle. It's kind of light at the end when you um, try it. So, you know, for the people that love a, a sweet potato casserole, um, in my family, we like to put the marshmallows on the top, okay? Yeah. Right, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, but in my personal life, I know that first day I'm scraping all the marshmallows off and I'm putting them onto my plate. So if you have any left over the next day, it's like, where's that marshmallow flavor? So I've got, I've engineered a way to get that charred marshmallow flavor into every bite. Rachel, if you don't mind torching these marshmallows right yeah. here. You want yeah. me to turn this on. Uh, listen, it was either this or we're gonna go into the broiler. And I've seen you at the broiler, girl. Uh -huh. And have you seen me at the broiler? <laughs> your kitchen down. So you're just gonna toast these until they're like charred black, like, you know, s'mores, you know how it goes. And then this is so well mixed together. Let me get in here. Look, he's really on fire. Yeah, super on fire. I can even burn them on a tray. So that's the deal. Like if you're gonna do this at home under the broiler, don't leave your oven, but also this is what you want. <laughs> Brown is good, but black is flavor. Yeah, it's still you ready? Good. One, two, three. So add those in here. Gotcha. And you just push them in. Yep, yep. Get those in there. Mm. And see, what's gonna happen is when this gets in the oven and cooks, the marshmallow obviously is gonna melt into our filling, but that charred and all that flavor, little charred flavor. You're gonna get in every single bite. You don't have to worry about people on the top of your casserole just scooping all the marshmallows out. So <laughs> that's how you can do it. And if you want, you can put some marshmallows over the top as well and then just get this in your 13 by nine. Your standard. Yeah, standard 13 by nine. And then just move it around. Now remember this topping that we had? Just take it out of the freezer and just kind of get it right over the top. Mm. This is like savory and sweet crumble, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's um, in the oven at like 375 for 40 or so minutes. Can I bring the to da? Yes. To -da's? Let's to da it. Ta -da! Okay, so wait. At the very end, if you've got a fresh orange around, now you can nice. also, I forgot to put it in the crumble before we put it in the oven. So just at the very end, hit it off with that fresh. Nice. Little, a little bit of citrus. Orange zest. Goes a long yeah, way. it does a lot. You have yeah. no idea. All right. All right.